Good morning and welcome my valued viewers. Straight into last week's sales. First sale of last week was um, a memory card. There's the picture. As you can see, it's a zero, zero, zero. Yeah, they didn't, uh, they cancelled immediately. Um, 50 pink purple poker chips. £6.50, it seems to be the established price now. I gave an offer to the first person. The next person comes along, looks at my sales history, sees it sold for £6.50, offers me £6.50. The next person comes along, offers me £6.50. Fair enough. Don't forget, it cost me 15 pence for 50. I'm not concerned. The Logitech Harmony remote control from, there you go, from, uh, two weeks ago that I showed you last week and it was the last thing going out 69.20 next was Nintendo Wii console this is the one that I bought for £12 a fortnight ago and it sold with another nunchuck so that there was two controllers two nunchucks and um, I added some games in took a couple out there was a Wii Fit and there was a an EA Sports Active I took them out because you need the extra bits and added in five other games. So it came to nine games in the total. And yeah, 39.99. That was the delivered price because it would have been another eight pound, but they decided to come and pick it up. They only lived about 10 miles away. So that's what they did. Next, Donkey Kong Country Returns, a Wii game. I told you it'd go for about six or seven pound. It went for 6.95, so it was five pence out. Um, that included delivery but it only cost me a pound. So that wasn't bad. Uh, Seiko 6100 Concise Dictionary Thesaurus Spell Checker. I think that's number eight. Um, it says hashtag 10, but obviously some of the other hashtags that I've produced from for the Seikos haven't sold yet. So yeah, very fast seller those. 56.99 plus postage 61.19. Um, Bell and Howell Autofocus Matic uh, Cine Camera Prop Play TV Film is what I've put in um, because there was no way it was going to work. Um, I didn't have any Cine Film, nobody's got any Cine Film, um, but they paid £7.98 plus postage on top £12.18. Um, it is iconically like. A cine camera with a handle and an eyepiece and lens out the front so yeah as a stage play or a video or a film ideal for a prop um next was memory card this was a 16 megabyte olympus um yeah the usual uh, really good price and then they cancelled it says here they've cancelled never mind then there was some more pink poker chips. I've told you the price has been established now, six fifty. Um, I'll leave it at seven ninety nine on the advert, but I'm offering offers, and everybody's offered me six fifty up to now, so I've taken it. Um, after that, there was Noddy and the Magic Book PS two game, which went for a good money, five forty nine delivered. Uh, another one of these thirty three p to fifty pence listings for me on the multiple. Just sits and waits until somebody picks it up. Um, pair of Sony speakers. These were the ones that were the other part of the bundle where the I sold the main piece, the mini disc system with the CD that didn't work yesterday, last week, not yesterday, last week. I think I got twenty four pounds and something, twenty five pounds and something delivered for the other piece. I've got 19.99 plus postage 27.99 for these. They, they took quite a bit of bubble wrap though. At least a couple of quid's worth of bubble wrap and box. I did do a good job on wrapping them, I've got to say. Um, XD picture card. This one wasn't cancelled. First one of the week that wasn't cancelled. Brilliant. 25.99 for a 512 megabyte. Itch. Yes. Itch bit faster very little amount faster it's the difference between something like four megabytes a second and six megabytes a second ridiculous but there you go 
they're good for the older cameras. Um, after that um, is the first thing going out this week. So basically this was Saturday morning. Um, I didn't wrap anything Saturday. It poured down. It's pouring down now actually. Yeah. It poured down Saturday, poured down Sunday. So vintage GPO. It's not much picture. I'll show a picture there. Um, 746 cream coloured phone telephone working dated 1975 it's actually dated February 1975 45.95 delivered good price for that that one cost me I think four pound and it was already converted it already had the line out the back I checked it it worked fine I cleaned it up made sure that the dial worked nice and smooth Put it back together again yeah i did clean inside put it back together again and sold it for 45.95 it's been sitting waiting now those have been sitting waiting for at least one to sell so now i'll be doing something with those two both of those are meant to work they've been converted by the bt factory whether they work fully or not is another matter and the other thing going out that was from last week is the one I didn't sell earlier in the week to a different person though. Um, $13.95 for a 16 megabyte Olympus. I have one 256H um, Fujifilm left on that listing. I've got a couple of other cards but one's in a camera that I'm trying to sell with the card and one's just there for testing other cameras. So I'm, I'm keeping one back for myself for testing. So yeah. And that was the end of the week because it was a slack week. Got to say, um, two reasons, uh, middle of the month and, you know, coming up to the end of the month, people are looking to see what they're buying, going to be buying uh, at the end of the month when they've got some money, plus some holidays for the kids. People have got other things on their mind and it has affected me, I think. However, that was the total. 375.25 not brilliant um it was 14 items and i'm you know my aim's about 25 to 30 items a week so half of what i'd hoped to sell a little bit more than half of what i'd hoped to 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 recoup in money never mind um now you've seen two other things going out there is something that was sold this morning also this, eleven ninety nine. Um, yeah, bought this for. I think it was four. It was three items for six pounds. The other items I'd previously bought for a pound a piece. So take those two pound off. It was two um, sets of teats for these. But yeah, fine. Eleven ninety nine, delivered. So that's. Four pound, sorry, yeah, four pound into seven pound fifty. Um, not brilliant, got to admit. Maybe seven pound ninety, depending on what you charge for your your, your, your postage. I charging four twenty on that. So yeah, both. Oh, and that one. If you noticed, I stopped on Saturday and then started today yes a sunday without any sales this is why i'm saying about people going on holiday um kids are broken off school etc uh it's just one of those things uh you can't and a, a lot of things what i'm selling are you know electrical small goods what i hope to do this week is to bang a load of kids stuff on i've got duplo i've got some lego I've got some hot wires there, just looking at it. Um, some more downfall games. Um, all the stuff that I've been holding back for Q4, I think I'll bang some stuff on. Um, yeah, so this week up to now, 11 99 <laughs> Hardly worth li lifting my hands up, was it? Um, never mind. Now, pickups. What pickups? Poured down. Poured down. I went out Friday afternoon. And I bought this. It's a jug. <laughs> no, it's um, a thermos. 
really nice really clean now I've cleaned it it was a bit bloomed up underneath but I took the middle out give it a good clean with a brush bottle brush you know cleaned it back up it's lovely rose gold tinted uh, vacuum flask with a everything on the outside is really clean I think maybe I bought it from the charity shop maybe they've got some polish on it and give it a good polish um, it is Thermos made in West Germany if you can read that I don't know whether you can see it Ingrid or Ingrid West German name I suppose um, very popular in the States unfortunately not quite so popular here I've just been looking it up um, it varies from one's on auction for three pounds plus postage which hasn't finished yet to twenty pound plus three pound postage or oh, eighteen ninety nine plus four pound eighty five but a couple of them have a different colorway they're white with a burgundy instead of coffee with a cream this is much more it's for your coffee you know what I'm saying it's called a coffee butler um, in the advertising there's somebody was selling it with a box for 40 quid however 10 pound 5 pound 8.95 best offer best offer so they don't expect to get 8.95 plus postage um so I went on to the solds because that's all over the place isn't it between 4 pound and 40 pound and the only one in the UK with the same design so for 9.95 buy it now for 50 postage so I think I'll just copy their advert the one thing about it is and I noticed a lot of people take a photograph with it open like that and you can see there's a little bit of little bit of there but they don't show the proper nice clean bottoms because they're not proper nice and clean this is spotless because I took it apart and cleaned it um, yeah there's one and it's got like a real brown mark like it's either a mark or a dead fly in the bottom and they've taken a photograph and left it like that when they advertised it so yeah mine's nice and clean I think I might bang two pound on that maybe 11.95 plus postage um, let's see if this is the one with the dirty bottom wouldn't surprise me there's one where they're taking it on a counter and it's got a bottle of bleach next to it like this is why I used to clean it out <laughs> oh no this one's quite um, you can see it's clean underneath but it's all marked around here the edge and the, the, the screw thread and there's no excuse for not cleaning this really isn't I mean you put that in the dishwasher you can put the whole thing in the dishwasher um, obviously there's a plastic label there and it, it would come off it's not as good but I suppose you could take the label off re-stick it back on it's it's sticky sticky um, yeah anyway that was the one thing I bought £2.50 from a charity shop yeah, I'd in planned to go to two different car boots this weekend for a bit of a change. I was going to go to York on Saturday and I was going to go to Scalington on Sunday. They're, by all accounts, pretty busy this year, both of them. However, um, it poured down on Friday. I looked at the forecast. Rain, heavy rain all morning in York. Heavy rain all, all day saturday and all day saturday night up till about four in the morning then medium rain on sunday until about 11 and it was heavy rain again so i stayed in i did some listing i got um i think it was about eight or nine listed on saturday and 11 listed yesterday for about 300 pound on each day so they're up but one of the things i'm intending to do this week is to list a lot more than I have been because I think yes there's excuses like it's summer holidays now there's kids about out of school um, but I see that as opportunity to sell toys I think um, there's also 
a, a possibility of maybe they don't want the electronics this time of year because it's lovely and sunny outside well it hasn't been the last few days but it has been other times um yeah i think i need a bit more variety in the shop so that's what i'm intending to do this weekend more variety quite a lot more toys um over the weekend i did quite a lot of electronics and av stuff but uh yeah Currying on for the rest of the week, I think it'll be uh, variety, toys, etc. I mean, I've got these things, those paperweights. This guy, uh, he's got he's got enough problems with him, so I'm not going to bother with him. But the telephones, now that I've sold one, uh, it might be boosted in the algo. You never know the algo rhythm. Um, I should bang some more Wii games on the Wii listing. Now that I made a sale on that, um, yeah, possibly sell that. He's got a power supply now. I dug it out of there, um, and I've got a couple more of those uh, Xbox 360s. Um, I still haven't completed the listing for these. That needs doing, but that's um, that's a long-term plan listing. It's not expected to make a load of sales immediately. Um, the same goes with a lot of smaller stuff that I've got, but I haven't listed because it was small. I need to get more listings on to have more people in. So that's my plan for the rest of the week. I hope you're doing well. If uh, you are, you want to share it, comments below, that'd be great. I'd love to know. Um, in the meantime, uh, Give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching i've really appreciated that loads of people have joined up to now um in the last couple of weeks i think i've had 28 new subscribers i'm on 469 subscribers today 469 and i'd love to be on 500 by the end of next month um i want to start doing some live shows because they're great and then people can ask me questions. I've done premieres on the videos like this, made like this, and I've had a few people in asking questions and things, but if I had a live, there's opportunity for a lot more people to come in, ask questions, and I can just, you know, answer them. I mean, or you could give me advice because sometimes I just need it, you know? I'm not perfect, nobody is, and, um, yeah, how to improve my channel would be great. And my uh, eBay sales. Thank you for watching. And uh, I'll let you know about that as it comes to the 500. We'll probably have a, a stream. I'm not sure how you do it, but we can do it. I did it, I think, once for about five minutes, but it wasn't really working well because I did it on my, on my phone and it was the wrong way up and it was juddering about. I've got a much better camera now, so... Fingers crossed I can get that working. Otherwise, I'll just buy a webcam. Because they can't be that much, can they? Especially on eBay. All right, speak to you later.